The President of the United States has a message tonight for migrant children and others in overcrowded border detention centers and everyone who's concerned about them. Many of these illegals, aliens, are living far better now than where they came from and in far safer conditions. That's what the president tweeted earlier. Now, you might say, well, at least he seems to be acknowledging that many of these human beings in detention fled from unsafe conditions in their homes, in their home countries. What he actually means, of course, is quit complaining. And to the kids in cages without soap or toothbrushes or any clear idea of what's going to happen to them or if they're going to see their families again, it seems like the message from the president is basically, kids, suck it up. It's not that bad. Now, keep it honest, we should underscore that custody means in care of, not just detained by. Custody implies responsibility, accountability, and a duty to care. It should also be pointed out that not only do these reports of substandard conditions come from lawmakers visiting the detention centers, not only do they come from pediatricians, one of whom you'll meet in a moment, they also come from the Department of Homeland Security's own Inspector General's office and from a veteran CBP agent who compares conditions to a zoo. This agent spoke to CNN's Nick Valencia on condition of anonymity and was clearly haunted by the reality of what so many people are only now just learning about. I feel like, you know, multiple times during our interview, you know, you've sort of stared off in the distance and you've thought about some things that you've seen. I mean, it seems as though there are things that you might take home with you. Every day. Like what? The kids. What about the kids? You know, they just want hope. They want to believe in something. They want a future. Well, today we got a look into some of those kids' lives. The pictures you're seeing were drawn by were drawn last week by three children, ages 10 and 11, at a Catholic charity center in McAllen, Texas, after being released by Customs and Border Protection. The staff at the center asked the kids to depict their time in custody. A social worker gave the drawings to the American Academy of Pediatrics, which gave them to CNN. They show cages or bars with unhappy-looking figures inside. Some of them show people outside the cages staring at them. It appears to be kids sleeping on the floor, and sadly, they're not just silent testimony to what it's like to be a child in detention. They also represent the memories these kids may always carry with them of overcrowding and disease and lack of drinking water and a shortage of medical care. The president tweeted, quote, if illegal immigrants are unhappy with the conditions in, qu in the quickly built or refitted detention centers, just tell them not to come. All problems solved. So that was about 45 minutes after a string of other tweets that began, and again, I'm quoting from the president, our Border Patrol people are not hospital workers, doctors, or nurses. Many of these illegals, aliens, are living far better now than where they came from and in far safer conditions. No matter how good things actually look, even if perfect, the Democrat visitors will act shocked and aghast at how terrible things are. The president's words as we all get ready to celebrate the 4th of July. Now, we mentioned the DHS Inspector General report. Take a look at these photos, because these photos are from the DHS report. These photos are from the government. And they just, this report describes dangerous overcrowding, standing room only in places, children packed side by side on the floor with no space between them, unsanitary conditions. And I'm quoting now from the Inspector General, the Department of Homeland Security, I'm quoting, most single adults had not had a shower in CBP custody, despite several being held for as long as a month. At some facilities, Border Patrol was giving detainees wet wipes to maintain personal hygiene. Wet wipes. Again, that's not coming from partisan politicians or activists or anyone with any particular set of preconceptions or access to grind. That's a direct quote from the Inspector General's office at the President's own Department of Homeland Security. And the report is not titled, as the President suggests, Illegals, they've never had it so good. The actual title is, listen to this, Management Alert, DHS needs to address dangerous overcrowding and prolonged detention of children and adults in the Rio Grande Valley. That's due in no small part to the influx of asylum seekers from Central American countries where conditions are certainly bad. But Trump administration policy, that has also played a big role. Instead of finding ways to process more asylum seekers, to bring more judges on, the administration has taken steps to make it harder for them. Longer waits, less chance of actually getting asylum. When death row inmates in federal prisons get better medical care than a five-year-old in a federal detention facility? When prisoners of war under the Geneva Convention get better toiletries? 
when conditions are bad enough for a senior manager at one border facility to call it, and I'm quoting, a ticking time bomb, there is a simple humanitarian problem. And it has nothing to do with the complexities of what ought to be done about immigration and asylum and partisan politics or building a wall. This is, in the end, about human beings and how we treat them.